Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we are taking a look at a brand new 2024 Vibe 28RL travel trailer by Forest River RV. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and the outside of this RV, show you what some of the new changes are, kind of show you what the camper is all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2024 Vibe 28RL travel trailer here. Let's get started in the back section here and then we'll kind of work our way forward. So first things up, one of the biggest things you're going to notice difference for 2024 is they have changed up the furniture color, the flooring, the cabinetry, wall boards. So a whole new look for the inside. So over here we have a theater seat, basically facing straight at your TV area. There is a little flip down armrest cup holder in the middle. Little light up cup holders on the outer arms. The rear sofa is a trifold sofa. This will flip out, make into a bed, so you could sleep a couple adults on here as well. You have little end tables with some storage underneath, electric outlet, and USB charger ports on both sides as well. Just give you a little view here of what the uh, new panel looks like. And then back here we have new cabinet doors. It's a little bit different look as well. Storage across the whole back section. Now directly across from your theater seat right here, you have a Kinex TV. It's a 50 inch TV. It does have an FM radio built in and Bluetooth connectivity as well. You have the Furion 30 inch electric fireplace. So basically a fancy electric space here. Full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. You can see the heat duct coming out the side of the island over there. You'll also notice your slide floor material is the same as the main subfloor, kind of matchy matchy going on there. You have very large windows overlooking the campsite area along with the rear area of the RV as well. They're currently using a blackout shade, a roll down shade as well. Now another new feature that they changed up is going to be this dinette table feature. If you do this feature, you have a little bit of storage in your seats. They mounted the table to the wall instead of having a leg in the middle. So it gives you just a little more leg room. But this also pulls out away from the wall and it rotates and then slides back against the wall, giving you a little bit more space here if you need to. So if you don't want four chairs with you while traveling, you could leave two of them at home and just kind of have a little more room to maneuver things around here. But then it goes right on back, nice and easy. Just kind of pull out on it, rotate it around, and it just goes right on back in there. It's kind of neat. The paneling and stuff on the side of your island also changed up. Electric outlet there, another heat duct down there as well. The faucet changed up. Sink also changed. And they went with a nicer countertop this year, an actual kind of stone style solid surface countertop. Over here we have a little pantry area. Again, full extending ball burn drawer guided drawers. 
They have the Furion oven, which does have the matching drawer below. You have the glass front, has a light in the oven, a light up knobs, and then you also have the three burner gas cooktop. Matching Furion microwave and hood range light and fan as well. And then to follow it up, you have the matching Furion 10 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. So freezer on top, refrigerator part on bottom. Over here you have some more cabinet space and counter space. Kind of the same thing up top here, decent amount of space. Electric outlet, USB charger port there. You have an electric box with the breakers and fuses down below. Let's kind of step back and look down the ceiling area here. So we have the Coleman ducted AC running down the ceiling. There's a skylight above the island as well. Digital thermostat for your AC and your propane furnace right here as well. Then you have some controls as far as slide outs and awnings, light switches, 12 volt tank heaters for cold weather camping, uh, again more light switches, uh, water heater on gas button, and there is a water pump switch here as well and your monitor panels for your holding tanks. Behind this door, we have the bathroom area. Some storage back here. And the water heater controls are also right here. So you have the kind of a master on off switch on your uh, monitor panel out here. And then your controls for that on demand water heater next to the mirror there. Some storage below as well. Decent amount of counter space for a little RV bathroom. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Step in shower, pull across vinyl curtain deal. Little vent fan, AC duct, and skylight in here as well. So for your bathroom door, you have a swing door, kind of a traditional door there. Entry exit door here as well, fire extinguisher below, window in your entry exit door. Now this door here going into the bedroom is a little different. It's a pivot hinge door that uh, I think is by Moore Ride if I remember correctly. So the way that door operates is a little different. Some overhead cabinet space, hanging closet on the other side there. A little end table on this side. There's electric outlet USB charger port there. Window over there does open. This one was ordered with 50 amp electric service, so you're seeing an electric plate in the ceiling up there. So it's pre-wired for a second air if you wanted to do that. That is an option when you order the RV. You have electric outlet and cable and uh, pre-wire for King Connect on the wall there. There's a backer in the wall so you could mount you a TV on the wall as well. We have another little hanging closet area here. There's a motion light in here as well access panel down there at the bottom. Electric outlet down here, heat duct also coming out down there. And another hanging closet here. Now back in behind here is also a little cubby area to stash some stuff as well. And there's an electric outlet and USB charger port back there too. And well, they got like a little fancy headboard and a couple pillows here as well. Now the bed will also raise up. So there is some shock assist on here as well. Now there's storage down in behind there. Looks like that's probably about seven or eight inches. Uh, and then probably I'd say close to a foot and a half deep. And then you have individual little cubbies here and then some more storage down below. 
Window over there also opens. Now I'll put in the description down below a list of what all changed because I'm sure I'm probably forgetting something in here. Um, but we're going to head outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick. Show you what's all up uh, going on out there. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Vibe 28RL travel trailer here. We're going to start here on the door side, kind of work our way around. So first things up, graphics package changed slightly. Same basic colors and stuff, but the pattern changed a hair. Not anything real crazy, though. You have a white fiberglass exterior, aluminum foam block insulated sidewalls with some black accent skirting along the bottom and trim work. For the 2024 model, you'll notice that this changed up a little bit. They added a pegboard material inside of here. There is a motion light in here, but a nice large storage compartment. You can see some of the aluminum tube framing up there. And also this customer is going with a Blue Ox Sway Pro hitch. So you're seeing some of that lay there on the floor. Down below here, you can see power front stabilizer jacks, the switch right here on the side. You have two power awnings with LED light strip built into the main awning. They both have adjustable arms for tilting, and they also have manual overrides in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. There is a large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out of the RV. You do have two uh, speakers out here as well. Currently using the more ride entrance step, basically rated for 500 pounds, comes down, touches the ground with adjustable feet, so it doesn't shake and rock and roll the RV as bad when you're going in and out. Next to the awning arm right here is a cable and electric outlet, so you could do uh, TV out here if you wanted to on a nice day. Down below here you can see aluminum wheels, drum brakes, easy lube hubs. Now, they do a what they call a wide stance axle system, so you'll notice the tires are spread a little further apart. That is supposed to help with sway when traveling down the highway. Um, so you'll see that on a few different brands out there compared to the traditional close together wheels. On around to the back side here, you have your rear electric stabilizer jacks and the button there for that. Traditional flat back rear end here, you have your spare tire mount and cover attached to the bumper. Traditional four inch square tube bumper, a lot of people store their dump hoses in there. Um, one thing you will notice a little different, and sometimes I forget to mention that on the Vibe products, but they use the BAL frame, which is different than the traditional Lippert frame you find on most of them. Uh, it's a really nice system. I would definitely check into that if you're into you know, the overall construction of RVs. Uh, definitely check out that BAL frame website. Up top there, you can see in the center a prepping bracket for the Furion rear observation camera. That is a nice safety feature to consider adding to the, uh, any RV. And basically that would allow you to see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road or backing into your campsite. The little black rectangle up there is prepping. It's a, basically a mount bracket that they prep onto the back of the RV. So you could purchase the Lippert portable stow and go ladder. And it basically telescopes up and attaches right there when you are trying to get up onto your roof and maybe do some maintenance work or just make sure you know there's not a bunch of leaves or twigs or anything that fell on your slide outs. Over here on the side of the slide is your cable inlet and also your stove exhaust vent as well. Let's look down underneath the bottom here just to give you kind of an idea on what's going on back here. So you have enclosed underbelly And again, it has those 12 volt heat pads to try and extend out your camping season some. J 
Just in front of your slide, you're going to have your furnace exhausting out right here. And just down below, you have your gray, black, and galley dump handles. You want to pull the black first, get all the nasty out, then pull your gray and galley, allowing you to uh, basically clean out the dump hose and stuff. There is some low point water drains and the fresh water tank drain in the front section up there. You can see here, this one had the detachable power cord. Again, this is ordered with 50 amp service. Your suburban on-demand water heater exhausts out right here. The new redesigned docking station area here. You've seen that motion light kick on. 30 amp charge controller here for a solar panel by Go Power. The unit has a 200 watt solar panel on the roof standard currently. City water, black tank flush, gravity fill fresh water tank, cable and satellite inlets, hot and cold outside utility shower, water heater bypass, and then here you have an electric outlet on this side, and then a winterizing hose for winterization. Some really important informational stickers you'll find normally on the driver's side corner of, a, of the new RVs. So this is basically what they call a production date sticker. Tells me this camper was built 627 of 23, model number 28RL. Gross vehicle weight, 9,621 pounds. That is the most you can load the RV up to. Axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined do not exceed that number. VIN number also usually located here as well. Then you're going to have tire size sticker here, ST22575R15 E range tires with an 80 PSI cold rating. Very important to keep up with your tire pressure when you are traveling with these things. Look down the whole side here, nice clean look. You can also see that really sloped back front end. So it's a lot more aerodynamic than the old, uh, old school kind of flat front RVs. Lower diamond plate metal here. LED light strip across the front. Three quarter fiberglass cap right here. You're gonna have your battery disconnect back here. Room for one or two batteries to go here as well. Now right here is a dry weight sticker. You have 7,394 pounds is what this supposedly weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line with a length of 34 feet, five inches. Two 20 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator. You have your power tongue jack, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, seven way Bargman wiring plug. But overall a really nice looking couples coach here. All right, we're gonna head back inside. I wanna show you what this thing looks like all closed up. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the brand new 2024 Vibe 28RL travel trailer here. I just wanna show you what this thing looks like all closed up. So I kinda of cheated a little bit, went ahead and closed up the kitchen entertainment slide area right here just to kind of speed this part up for you a little bit. So you can see the sofa has to be kind of pushed back into place. It can't be pulled forward when you're closing up the slides. So just make sure that's back out of the way. Make sure your floor is nice and clean so you don't accidentally run over some grandkids toy or pet food or pebbles, rocks or whatever might've come off your shoes when you're going in and out of the RV because the slide will run it over they have no mercy and could very possibly rip and damage your floor. So everything gets nice and tight and close there. Now, neither one of the slides interfere with your bathroom or your bedroom area. So if you're stopping at a rest area or something like that, you could come in, go to the bathroom or go lay down and take a nap. But when you are trying to get back to this section, you're not really getting back here because of this big slide. So the big slide has to be open, at least partially, so you could get back there. But when it comes in and closes up, it's going to get real tight and close to your island there. 
Now be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. So if you're skinny, you might be able to squeeze through here a little bit. I'm not going to try it. I might be able to do it, but look funny on camera. If you can squeeze past that part, then you could go right on back to the back section if you really needed to, uh, with it partially closed. So I just wanted to kind of show you that. Now we're going to come the rest of the way in here. Now when it is all the way closed here, you can see you're not really getting past that. So you can kind of stop where you need it to stop if you want, or just bump the room out slightly. It just takes a few seconds to go out and then kind of come right on past here without fully opening it up. Now, if it's raining or you're actually gonna be, you know, kind of set up for a while or whatever, it's best to put the room all the way out. Leaving it kind of half in, half out doesn't allow it to seal properly or anything like that. But you kind of get the idea here. All right, guys. Again, please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. We'll definitely save you guys a lot of money if you're interested in saving some money on something. Thanks again.